Hi guys, it's time for my February favourites. I can't believe how quickly this month has flown by despite having the extra day. It has just whooshed past. Uh, so I want to share the things that I've been loving this month, the things that have been inspiring me. Uh, let's get into it. So I thought I would start with my favourite project from February and um, it sort of culminated in this week four project life spread but the favourite project um, I had for February was these creation of these little um, DIY embellishments. Let me pull one out. So here is one here that I have stuck onto a Project Life card, um, but basically throughout February um, I challenged myself over on my Patreon page to really only use um, a stash kit for the month. So um, over there I put together a really huge stash kit and created as many things as I could with it. Uh, and one of the things that I did create was I sat down one Sunday afternoon and just made a bunch of DIY embellishments basically just from a Dear Lizzie cut apart sheet. Um, I had been hoarding it for the longest time. I finally like just cracked into it and had a whole bunch of fun. I, I spent a long time doing it, but it was really, really great. Um, and then managed to put together this project life spread super simply because I had already had all of these embellishments made. So it's not something that I do a lot, but I really enjoyed doing it so much so um, that last week I sat down and did the same thing again, um, except this time I created a bunch of memory decks cards instead of just embellishments. As I was sort of creating these clusters, I put them onto memory decks cards um, and created mm, kind of what I'm calling my anxiety box. Um, it's literally just a bunch of memory decks cards that on the back I have sort of written little notes to myself. Things that when I'm stressed, when I'm anxious, um, I just need that tiny little reminder of. So this is just a little box that I can go to. Um, I've got plenty of space left so I do intend to add to this. Um, but these were just, I think there's nine in here, nine little reminders that um, I sort of brainstormed things that I would need to remember in those sorts of situations. And then I just went to town with a whole bunch of She's Magic stuff um, and just created these little cards. So it was, this was another fun project and it sort of, I think it works in with that, that um, this one here because it's the same sort of concept. It's just sitting down with a bunch of stuff and creating some little ready-made bits and pieces and these ones just happened to end up on a finished project. Uh, but that does bring me directly onto my first favorite product of the month. So definitely one of my favorites for this month is the Dear Lizzie She's Magic collection. I think I've already had this collection in a favorites video before. I did make a bunch of stuff with it when I first got it um, and then I kind of stashed it away and I haven't really gone back to it until this month. Um, and I love it just as much now as I did before. This little baggie is kind of a leftover collection of the bits and pieces that I had sort of prepped when I was doing those cards. I literally just took the papers and some sort of coordinating card stocks and die cut a whole bunch of stuff. I made some paper ruffles. I had um, die cut some of the memory decks cards. Um, so basically I didn't use everything. I just put it all in this little baggie and I'm keeping it with the collection. Um, I'm trying to keep this collection whole rather than breaking it up and putting it into my stash so that when I wanna do projects like this, it is super easy to do it. Some of the things that I really love from this collection are the puffy stickers. Obviously there's not a lot left. I do love the 6x8 pad. I love the size of the patterns in this pad. Um, just because they are slightly smaller, they work especially well for the kind of projects that I do. Um, and there are like two cut apart sheets in here, plus these kind of tickets, uh, which I have cut apart as well. So that makes that really handy. I love these alphas. <laughs> They're, it's really hard to show you. They're like an iridescent white on pink foam. So I totally adore them. You can see I'm out of ease, so hmm, sad, trying not to buy any more. Um, but I just adore this collection and I've actually used it for my one little word project, so you will see that later this week. 
Now this is a teeny tiny little favorite from February, but these are baby hearts shaped sprinkles from Doodlebug Designs. They are so cute. And it's like hard to even show you how tiny they are. They are so small and so cute. I made a bunch of Valentine's Day cards this year and they were the perfect little embellishment for it. And my last favorite for February is the Life Crafted albums from Sergius Twist. Um, I'm still working through my first 2020 album, but I did pick up this new gray one because it's just such a beautiful color. They've got a whole new range of colors in stock at the moment. Um, I was especially tempted to get the kind of forest green one, but I did go with gray just to keep it a little bit more neutral. I love these albums. They're so handy for putting together like traveler's notebook sized pages, um, but so much easier to work in an album uh, than it is in a notebook, especially if you want to do anything sort of slightly bulkier. Um, and these albums are perfect for that. You can work in the page protectors and there are a whole bunch of different configurations for those. But I actually love just trimming down my paper to be the same size as the page protectors and just working straight onto paper. And so last up this month, I wanted to show you a few of the Instagram accounts that I have been following um, that have just brought me so much joy and inspiration. Uh, all three of these lovely ladies are on the Citrus Twist design team with me. Um, and so I do get to see sneaky peeks of their amazing projects before anybody else does. I will leave links to all of these accounts down below in the description box along with everything else that I've showed today. Um, but the first account is Marivi Scrap and I just love her account. It is so light and bright. Her projects are simple and just totally stunning uh, right up my alley. I love this style and I love that she's joined me on the team. The next account is Alina Grinchuk and she has been on the team with me for a long time but I just adore Alina's life crafted spreads. She is so so creative with the kits each month and I love love the life crafted spreads that she puts together. They are totally amazing. Um, on her stories she often shows throwbacks to previous projects that she's done throughout the years and they're always fun to watch as well. And the last account here is Cherie Forcia. I just love, again, her style is so clean and simple and light and bright. And she is just the loveliest lady. So this is just another account that I adore seeing on my feed. So those are the things, well, at least some of the things that I've been loving in February, as always. Please let me know down below what you've been enjoying. I am always on the hunt for new things, new sources of inspiration. Thank you for watching and I will see you again really soon. Bye guys.